are on week two of our maker kits. I have rebranded them from Makerspace Mill Box to Maker Kits because the boxes got lost. <laughs> the order is just like missing. So we're using bags instead of boxes, but it's the same awesome experience in one awesome place. Um, so for this week's Maker Kit, we are building self-sustaining, self-supporting bridges called Da Vinci Bridges. And the story that I'm connecting this one to is pretty obvious. It's the three Billy Goats Gruff. <laughs> and in case you have never met me for more than five minutes, you, well, if you, if you have spent any amount of time with me, you know I am obsessed with goats. I even have a tattoo of a goat. I worked on a goat farm for a really long time. Goats are like my favorite animals. So, you know, I had to get the three Billy Goats Gruff story in somehow. Um, so I am reading a version from Richard Scarry's book of fairy tales or nursery tales because Richard Scarry is awesome and he's been around forever. So let's dive right in and read the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there were three billy goats gruff. One day, they wanted to eat some berries that grew on a hill across the river from where they lived. To get to the hill, they had to cross over a bridge. That's what we're gonna be making. But under the bridge lived a big, bad troll. So Richard Scary made the troll some sort of purple alligator you can't see. Trip, trap, trip, trap. The youngest billy goat gruff started to cross over the bridge. Who trips over my bridge? roared the troll. Only litty, littlest Billy Goat Gruff, said the little goat. Aha, I'm coming up to eat you, said the troll. Oh, don't eat me, cried little, littlest Billy Goat Gruff. My brother is coming after me and he is much bigger. So the troll let the littlest Billy Goat Gruff cross the bridge. Soon, trip. Billy Goat Gruff, the second Billy Goat Gruff, started to cross the bridge. Who trips over my bridge? said, roared the troll. Only the middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff, said the second goat. Aha, I'm coming up to eat ya, said the troll. Don't eat me, cried the middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff. My brother is coming after me and he is much bigger. So the troll let middle-sized Billy Goat Gruff cross the bridge. Soon, trip, trap, trip, trap, the biggest Billy Goat Gruff started to cross the bridge. Who trips over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, the great big Billy Goat Gruff, said the biggest goat. Aha, I'm coming up to eat you, said the troll. Come along then, said the great Billy Goat Gruff, the great big Billy Goat Gruff. So up came the old troll. Well, great big Billy Goat Gruff put down his head and butted that ugly troll right off the bridge and he was never seen again. Then the three Billy Goats Gruff ate those delicious berries until they grew so round and plump that they were scarcely able to walk home. The end. All right, guys. So for the next week of Makerspace in the Box, we are going to be basing our activity off of the three Billy Goats Gruff. Now, you know the story. It's time to do the activity. You guys are going to be making a bridge yourself out of just popsicle sticks and a few other materials. All right? So you got to help the three Billy Goats Gruff get across the bridge. Remember, it's very important. So, in your kits, you should have 12 of these long jumbo popsicle sticks. I have taken the liberty of gluing them together first because just one didn't end up being big enough. So, 12 of those. You should have six of these skewer things that I think are for kebabs for eating, but we're going to use them for crafts um, because anything is a craft if you craft with it, right? <laughs> And you should have three different colored markers. So that should be what's in your kit. And then something you're gonna have to provide is a surface 
that um, has a little bit of grip to it. So you could use the carpet if you want, or you could put down craft foam like I am, just because you do, you need a bit of a, uh, a bit of traction, a bit of friction to hold up the bridge. Um, but we can do that in a minute. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take your jumbo popsicle sticks and put them into three equal piles. Now, if it's been a while since you have been in math class, which it has since quarantine, but y'all are probably better at math than me, but since we have 12 and we need three piles, that's four popsicle sticks per pile. I had to think about that one for a second. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And what you're gonna wanna do is you need to color in each pile with a different color. So I'm gonna do the first one's green, the second pile blue, and the third pile purple. Um, I included the markers, but if you want to color them in a different way with paint or spray paint or crayons or whatever um, you can do that too but I just wanted to make sure you had something to color them with so but it is very important that we have three different colors of popsicle sticks so I'm gonna go ahead and color some of these these all of these in <laughs> table so I'm gonna come back up and clean that as soon as I'm done filming here all right so now that you have three different colors and your six little kebabs we're gonna start building our bridge so this is called the da Vinci bridge because Leonardo da Vinci not the Ninja Turtle the actual human who was a scientist and an engineer and an artist back in the Renaissance era a long time ago he came up with the design for the this bridge that was entirely self-supporting, meaning there was no like glue or cement or nails or anything. And he said it was the strongest design for a bridge. And so people make these bridges even today because it's really cool that you don't need anything except for the, anything to stick anything together, that it, it stays together on its own. But it is a little tricky. So I just want to say beforehand to be patient. And this did take me several times trying doing it to get it right, but it's worth it because it's really cool once it works. So, so don't stress if it doesn't work right away. So the first thing you are going to do is take, so we have three different colors to help us know how to build this. So the first thing you're gonna do is start on one side of your mat and place two popsicle sticks in the first color. So I'm just going to refer to my colors as mine, the green, blue, purple, but you will do this in what the three colors that you pick. So you've got your two on the end in green. What I'm going to do is place, and you want them to be pretty far apart. And I'm going to place the skewer thing, the little stick, on top of it, like here. Now you take the next color, blue, and you are going to lay this sort of on the inside, but you still want space between the two. See, you want a little bit of this space. All right, don't panic. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So <laughs> now what we're gonna do is place our next stick on top of our blue and pull our green sticks over the top of the second little skewer. 
this takes an engineering mind. You gotta have a lot of patience and be able to see the patterns. All right, so do you see what we have here? We have our two green and the, the, the stick goes over the top and under the second part. And we have our two blues and they go, the stick goes under the first part over the top. Okay? All right. So it should be a little bit tilted off the ground. So how we're going to finish the bridge is we're going to go green, blue, purple, green, blue, purple, all the way across. And what you do to keep going once you have this original design right here is you very gently, and also you can do this with two people, it helps a lot. So you, you're gonna gently go over, or go under, I'm sorry, the set of popsicle sticks. And one person, or with one hand, you gently pull up the whole bridge, and you are going to go in between green and the blue, under at first, and then over the top for the second skewer like that. And then you keep holding, go under, and then over. And like I said, this is a little bit tricky, so don't worry if it takes you a couple times. Okay, so we have our first half of it. We're halfway done already, but it gets a lot harder. <laughs> I bet you anything mine is going to break and we'll have to start again. So don't worry if that happens. So it's green, blue, purple. So what's next? Green again, right? So we're going to do the same thing, but this is getting bigger. So you have to be even more careful. And with another person's help or just with one hand, you go under the edge of your bridge, in my case, under the purple, gently pull up, and we're gonna go to the same position the green was in in the beginning, so on the outside. So under the first part, over the second part like that. Just set it down. Under the first, over the second. And then we can gently set it down, all right? Needs a little bit of adjustment. Okay, how are we doing? <laughs> Bear with me, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna do that again. Gently lift up the green popsicle sticks. Oh, this is getting dicey. Now we're gonna take our blue and we go under we're gonna do it in the middle now again, same position. Under and over, like that, and then set it back down. Okay, last one, almost done. Let's see if we can stick to this. Like I said, it took a lot of practice for me to be able to do this without it all falling over. So just seriously, don't stress out if it doesn't work. Okay, so for our last one, Gently under my blue. This is gonna be dicey. It may break, but that's okay. And then in the middle between the green and the blue, you go under, and over, set that there. Under, over, and set it down. All right? I can't believe that worked. All right, so here is our bridge, our Da Vinci bridge. And I wouldn't mess around with it too much, but once you get the hang of it and you can make these pretty easily, you can start experimenting with how much they can hold. Now, these are pretty weak materials, you know? We just have these little flimsy skewers and these, these thin popsicle sticks, but together, locked in in this pattern, it's very strong. All right, so there you have it. We built, ooh, that's about to fall out. 
we built this bridge for the billy goats. Yay! I think I'm going to film it again over the top so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And we'll just do that really fast. Like, I'll do it really fast after this clip is over. All right, so there you have it, Da Vinci's Bridge. You guys built yourself. Um, okay, so remember, I know I've said this a million times, but seriously, this is a very complex maker activity to do. So seriously, don't worry about it. If it takes a couple tries, you gotta stick with it and be persistent. Um, and once you practice a little bit, it does get easier um, and ask, parent or an older sister or grandparent or a friend to help um, because you do have to have steady hands which I don't my hands kind of shake a little bit so but anyways I hope you guys have fun with this if you absolutely can't get your bridge to work you can attach them to the popsicle sticks with pipe cleaners and do a little bit of uh, you know do a little hack for it um, and that might make it a little easier but yeah let me know how it goes send me an email with a picture of your completed da vinci bridge and also let me know how much your your thing ends up being able to hold because that i think would be a really interesting experiment to do oops oh there it goes all right have an awesome week enjoy your kit um and next week's is going to be fun too i think next week's is the spring release trap so that should be fun all right Take care. Yay. Thanks for watching. <laughs>